Hello everyone, Julia is here. Today you will learn how to draw Ariel Mermaid and her friend Flounder. So, what you will need for drawing Ariel Mermaid today, guys? You will need paper, pencil and something to color with. It could be crayons, color pencils, markers, pens, whatever you have at home. I wish you a happy drawing, guys! So let's start and have some fun! Ok, guys, let's start drawing our Ariel Mermaid um, with her eyes. So I will start drawing Mermaid with two circles. It would be her eyes and I will just put her not in the left part of my paper. So. I'm starting drawing two circles, one and two, and repeating the circles, one and two, and one circle inside, and spotlights, you can draw one spotlight, or if you wish to make shiny eyes, then just draw more spotlights. And the nose I'll just draw in this curved line and um, she's smiling so let's draw her smile. Just a curved line here and a curved line here and then I will make this like almost oval and you can also add some eyelashes if you wish just to make your eyes look cute and everything is cute with his eyelashes and eyebrows it's just two curves so actually it's almost ready and I will make two lines near her eyes just to see the line where we'll be going her face and now I will be connecting her face with a curved line, a little bit curved, or you can make it just straight. And also I will make, on the same level of the eyes, I will make ears, just two of them, and just a curved line inside. So, and now let's draw her beautiful hair. And I will start drawing from somewhere just up here. And I will be drawing a curved line and it will go like this. So it actually looks cute. And now I will continue the line of her face and go in this way. So, and now I will almost repeat this line here. And once again, but smaller curved line. So, and now I will draw a beautiful flower here. Just a small one with five petals or you can even make just four petals it's just up to you and now I will be drawing her hair going this way and then I will just go this way and then repeating and going this way and then I will draw again a curved line here going this way and then we will continue drawing her hair when her body will be finished. So you can just draw this curved line for her hair. And look, she's beautiful and just looks like a real Ariel. So, and now we will be drawing body of our mermaid. So we will just measure the same, try to put a line here the same uh, as your head size of your head so somewhere in the middle put a line it will be your tail and you can always check with your pencil so now we'll put two lines here and we'll start drawing your shoulders so just go two lines here and Two lines here just drawn her body and now I will be drawing her seashell top so we'll put it in the middle here like 
just a dot and just two a little bit squished ovals and connecting and if you need to wrap something out just just rub it use your rubber here so just keep them of the same size your top and now you can draw this curved lines here and curved lines here so it actually looks like seashells and now I will be drawing her tail so it will go from here where I have put this line and I will go a little bit down and just drawing her body it's too far away so I'm just connecting her body drawing a dot here and now in the middle I will go two lines drawn like a part of rectangle and then connecting them and repeating the lines again like this so and now I'm ready to draw her tail so I will just draw a curved line here and the tail goes in this way in this direction and here we go so just have to draw her fin and it will be very easy just drawing these curved lines here and here and you can repeat the lines like this you also can draw some scales if you wish just to show the pattern of your tail you can draw as many as you wish or just a few of them just to show this pattern and also we only have to finish your hands and your hair so I will be showing you just how to draw easy 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 hands so not too complicated for you so they will be on the same level somewhere here so I'm just drawing your hands here and just draw finger curved one and then then just drawing few fingers here and the same on the other side so it's very easy hand drawing but it looks very realistic so the same I will be drawing here and just going this way and you also can if you wish you can put something into your hand but I will just draw it's simple and cute so it's simple and cute if you wrap something you can always repeat it and make this part and so look she's already very beautiful mermaid and now we will be drawing just finishing our aerial hair so I will just draw a few lines here and go in this way so you can draw this way lines and the same I will be doing here so I will just curve them and again drawing the same in this direction so and just will hide them or you can also change the direction of your hair and just put a tail here if you wish I will keep it like this very simple but very beautiful and now I will draw your friend Flounder so it's a cute fish and you all know him and it's a funny fish so I will show you how to draw her friend Flounder so we will start drawing him from um, just a circle so it's very easy it's not so complicated so just draw a circle if it's not perfect it's absolutely fine nothing is perfect and it's great and makes even more character if it's not perfect and if your a mermaid or your fish looks different than mine this is absolutely fine because they have their own character so and now I'm drawing a tail and 
I will draw two lines here and connect a little bit curved. So, and one, two, three, four lines here. So, and now I will be drawing a nose and eyes. So, it's actually will be going like this a little bit from the circle and then it will go out so we will just rub it out and you see what i'm doing i'm just don't press too much on your pencil just to rub it out easily so and now we will be drawn on the same level we will draw a curved line like this with a smile and smiley face it will go up and one more line curved line here so and now i will put a an eye here just a semi oval and one again once again and repeat and a spotlight and eyebrows two curved lines and now I will draw another line here so I will put another eye here and here we go it's already repeating the same eye one line and one more and the spotlight inside so and two eyebrows smile and turn like this and also we will make a curved line under his mouth so we'll just repeat the same here and now i will be drawing just rub out a little bit this line and just draw this curved lines here you can make two three or uh, depends on your space and just i will add this fin here so i will just curved lines and one two three and like this one fin will be seen from here as well and now we will be drawing a curved line here and it goes up like this and now we will be drawing this part here and just separate it and it looks like its hair style very funky and fun and just curved line goes here so look how cute our flounder looks and now we will draw some stripes two or maybe three it depends on you and if you don't like the smile you can change a little bit here just to make it goes up and it will look cuter so look our flounder looks amazing and now the only thing we have to do is just to color it. Okay, guys, let's start coloring our Ariel Mermaid with your eyes. And I'm coloring this one with black, leaving spotlights white. And I will color now her eyes blue and leaving this white. So look, she's cute and funny already. And we'll make her lips bright pink you can make them red or maybe pale pink depends on what color is your favorite and now i will be coloring your hair and we'll start with flower i will make it purple the same color i will use for the top so i will make with purple and the middle part i will color yellow and you can choose your own colors um, it must not be the same colors as i'm coloring or you can just repeat if you wish so and i will be coloring seashell top with purple and i'm using markers but you can use pencils pens markers crayons whatever you have at home guys and Ariel uh, has red hair, so 
I will use red for her hair. Maybe it's too bright and you can use some darker color, but I'll make it bright and um, we'll color it like this and you can color any color you wish guys so try not to go out black lines so no rush here just relax and while we are shading and you can add some uh, spotlights and shadows lights and shadows drop I will show you how to do it with white pencil so it will look cute and funny and it really looks like a cartoon mermaid so and it's easy to draw so don't forget to share your beautiful artworks and send them to me and I will definitely show them in our next episodes guys so and now I'm just shading it and trying to follow the lines and here we also have some hair left so we'll color this part and now I will use green for the tail and I will make it dark green and as I don't have very light green marker I will use pencils so I actually using mixed techniques markers and pencils here and you can do the same if you wish so i will just use lighter pencil to shade this part and this and you can also draw these lines here to show the pattern or just leave it like this and if you press more so it will be brighter and it will look even more cute so you can do the same here or maybe even you can add some lines here as well like this but it's just a few wish guys and now i will be shading our flounder but you also can add some pink here just pink blush here and here and if you wish just circles by pencil and if you wish you can also add some eyeshadows I know some of you love eyeshadows just a line of purple by pencil it will look beautiful here look she's very fancy and now I will be coloring our flounder with yellow just its body I will keep yellow and then add blue to its tail and fin and light blue as well so I'm just shading its body with yellow and we'll add a little bit of green here to its and you'll we'll make red tan and you can shade shade here with black or dark brown I will probably use dark brown just not to make it too dark just will make it brown here and now we all have just to do is just to color tail and fin so some parts will be lighter and some parts will be darker so I will try this color if it will be dark or I will use another one now it's absolutely the same so I will just choose another just dark color here here to create this part and look 
and the same I will do here just dark part and here and separate it the lines here with black pen and we'll add dark stripes here and here so look it really looks like a real cartoon fish and it's very cute and funny and and you can also create some under the sea vault and draw some um, shells or maybe some bubbles and I will just maybe add a few bubbles um, to make it look funny and cute so I will be drawing big bubbles with my blue pencil and we'll draw a small bubble here and just shade it and then I will make more bubbles going and making them smaller on the top and just shade them and leave a white little circle here just to make them look cute and you can draw bubbles everywhere and as many as you wish guys and you can draw them in different directions so it would be like a real under the sea world and you can draw even double bubble like this look how cute it looks double bubble and here so just creating this under the sea world and then you can add some starfishes and shells whatever you wish guys so i will probably just draw a few maybe corals here then i will add maybe here just a coral and just to give you a few ideas how you can draw this a real sea world and i know you are very creative even more creative than than i so i will be happy to see your beautiful drawings guys and just then shade it and you can add some more fishes and even starfishes and then i will just use a black pen to make it look just brighter on the screen but you can leave it like this so and this is like how this under the sea world is created and you can add as many details as you wish guys okay guys and let's add some spotlights with our white pencil so you can just drop a little bit white here on our mermaid's hair and you also can add some here so they will look really shiny and bright and here as well and you can also add some white here just to make your hair shiny and i will drop just a few spotlights on the flower and also you can drop here on her top and on her tail you can just add some light on the scales so it will really will look realistic and also you can add here and here if you have white pencil and i will drop a little bit of white here and here as well so look it's really adds this 3d volume to our drawing and look guys how cute is our mermaid and how cute is flounder her friend well done guys this is the cutest aerial mermaid i have ever seen
Thank you for watching this video guys. I hope you enjoyed drawing Ariel Mermaid with me. And I really love drawing with you, my art friends. And if you enjoy my lessons, please subscribe and like my videos and don't forget to share your beautiful artworks on my Facebook page, the link to which is below this video. Thank you for watching, stay safe, bye bye!